Uh, my name is Court Chilton. I'm on the Sloan faculty. I'm a senior lecturer. I work here full time. And uh, what I primarily do is I teach strategy and organizational change. And I tend to teach it with uh, rooms in rooms that in, uh, have senior executives in the room. So I primarily focus on executive education rather than uh, the degreed programs or undergraduates. Uh, what I'm passionate about in terms of research and the work I do is organizational transformation. How can you get generally large organizations to change fast enough to um, meet the speed of, at which markets are changing and regulations are changing? Uh, what's interesting in that sphere now is the impact of social media and digital uh, as well as live interactions in getting large organizations aligned, um, being able to use that, those kinds of technologies to make them more nimble. Uh, because mostly now, instead of having one big change initiative, most organizations have several change initiatives going on at the same time. And the question is, how do you keep people engaged, aligned, informed, uh, and often the, the latest social media technologies, digitization, can help keep people informed and enrolled in what organizations are trying to get done. One of the best examples of a company that's really gotten smart about how to bring about transformation is a big pharmaceutical firm that we've worked with. And um, they have sent us about three quarters of the top thousand uh, executives in the space of two years. And we've gotten them in a classroom setting to talk about where is the organization going, what does leading an enterprise like this look like, um, how can we move out uh, collectively without having to get perfect alignment and goal agreement all across the organization. The world's just too complex, too fast changing for that. So the classroom was part of, here at MIT was part of the kickoff for that. But what went on simultaneously is that they would do periodic things on their intranet. For example, they would have things like a culture jam where people would talk about what's prized around here. How can we move away from being a paternalistic, hierarchical company to being one that's much more entrepreneurial, it's flatter, where uh, there is both more risk-taking and um, less fear of failure. Uh, and a lot of that they were able to achieve across a very diverse global uh, organization with, that had grown through acquisition, so many different organizational cultures, and so they use some of what I'm talking about in terms of digital and social media within the company to bring about a different conversation than would have happened in the past, where you would have cascaded something down from the very top of the organization and everybody had to wait while the next level went to it. Um, the other thing they were really skilled at doing is they were using uh, digital technologies and some meeting technologies to tap rather than the network of power, the hierarchy, but to tap the network of passion. Finding people who have uh, collective interests, either in certain dimensions of the science in their business, or in finding new distribution channels, or in getting drugs distributed in what might be called extreme parts of the world. For example, in parts of Africa, there's no infrastructure for drug delivery. There are no doctors, there are no nurses. How do you get drugs to people that need them? people were creating some really innovative ideas there. How do you get people who share those interests to talk to each other and to move out more rapidly in many different parts of the world with many different infrastructures and ways of going, uh, going to market in the pharmaceutical business? The main reason the top-down stuff isn't so effective, we're not sure it ever was that effective, but because it's big and slow, and in earlier years, maybe the world wasn't changing as fast as it is now. But today, there's no way that's effective because the, the clock speed of uh, change in science, in innovation, in regulatory environments, it's changing so rapidly and the world is so complex that by the time the top figures it out and cascades it, something's changed. And so you've got to get out and let people deal with what's right in front of them in the moment within a framework. Um, so the, partly the classroom where you get everybody on board, understand what we're doing, but then leveraging other technologies really helps create connections that you really couldn't create before. And you, you're creating sinews in an organization 
that are across, that are between functions, between geographies, that you couldn't really do as effectively before. So that's why that's an interesting part of uh, what's happening now when, when companies try to change.